So you mentioned DLEDs and how that's like a warning sign. If somebody mentions that to you, then you should be careful and not get taken in by it. Say a consumer is in a TV showroom. What are some of those danger words that he should watch out for? Well, first of all, I think some of the brands, they don't indicate on a box saying DLED. They are just saying LED, which has been very misleading. My simplest suggestion and one thing I love about being in the TV business is that no matter how much advertising my competition or whoever does or we do, at the end of the day, the customer is choosing with his own eyes. He can go to a Chroma or Vijay Sales or whatever store. He sees all the TVs on his wall and then he can choose, okay, I like the picture quality here as opposed to this one compared to that one. So that's the first thing is you can look at the picture quality if you see drastic differences between the refresh rate and the skin tones you know it's a different product the second thing even if you don't see the brand see the thickness of the tv so really go on the side and if it's about more than an inch and a half thick then you should know it's probably a dled my suggestion is that uh, I, I'm pretty sure that the salesmen sometimes are trained to pass off a DLED as an LED, but they should go, they should look at the model online and they should compare the brightness and contrast and different ratios and then decide a DLED is not going to go above 60 hertz. So that's not the quickest way to tell, but usually in smaller sizes, you don't have more than a hundred hertz. So, you use your own eyes, use your own brain. If it looks very thick, if the picture quality is poor, even if it says LED, it's probably not. 